do I start quarterback Derek Carr? Derek Carr, if you've got him, he's a must start on Thursday against the Rams. <laughs> I mentioned earlier in the live stream that the Rams may be playing with Baker Mayfield at quarterback, and this could be a real, real important game for the Raiders to win. Cars finishes the quarterback 13 or better in four of his last five games in each of those five games though, over that five game stretch cars thrown for at least 248 yards and two passing touchdowns. The Rams they're without Aaron Donald this week. He was just officially ruled out a couple hours ago and the Raiders have a projected 41% pass block advantage per PFF over the LA Rams. Now that Aaron Donald not, going to play in this game it could get out of control but here's my thinking with this it may get out of control the Raiders might put up a lot of points against the Rams but it's going to be one of those Detroit Lions putting up 40 points on the Jaguars type of game because the Raiders need not just a win but a moral victory there have been a lot of heartbreaking losses for the Raiders this year They've won some games in overtime as well, but they need to get back into the playoffs and playoff contention. <clears throat> and the only way to do that is to, to not only have big wins, but have momentous wins and getting a momentous win on a big stage would be emphatic. That's what we're looking at. So I think Derek Carr is going to be looking for Devonte Adams pretty regularly. You've got to be, have high confidence in Devonte Adams. He's been the wide receiver one over the last few weeks. So you're starting Derek Carr. If you have him on Thursday, he should be in, in a, a pretty confident start for you. Get him into your starting lineups and fill him in. You got to be comfortable with Derek Carr. Like you got to move him over Trevor Lawrence. I think you can even hear him in that Kirk Cousins, Jared Goff tier as well with the type of upside matchup that we're looking at Thursday night. It's a 43 and a half over under, but the Raiders are favored by six and a half points, almost seven points. We will see if that line shifts. If we get an official announcement of who is starting at quarterback for the Rams.